Hi everybody, welcome back to another Technical Tips. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about four steps to becoming an awesome Agile developer. My name is Daniel O. I'm working for Red Hat as a Technical Marketing Major. Let's get started. Many enterprise companies are rushing into their DevOps journey through Agile software development with cloud-native technology such as Linux containers, Kubernetes, and serverless application development. And continuous integration helps enterprise companies' developers reduce the bugs and unexpected errors and even improve the quality of their code deployed in the production environment. However, this doesn't mean all developers in DevOps automatically embrace Agile for their daily work in application development or testing and even debugging. So there is no magical way to do but the following four practical steps and best practices will put you well on your way to becoming an awesome Agile developer. Let's take a look at that four step to become awesome Agile developer. First of all, we needed to start with the design thinking Agile practices. There are many opportunities to learn about using Agile software development practices in your DevOps initiatives. Agile practices inspire people with new ideas and experiences for improving their daily work in application development with team collaboration. More importantly, those practices will help you discover the answers to questions such as, why am I doing this? What kind of a problem am I trying to solve? How do I measure the outcomes? Domain-driven design approach will help you start discovery sooner and easier. For example, the start at the end practice helps you design your application and explore potential business outcomes. For example, what will happen if your application fails in a production environment? You might also be interested in event storming for interactive and rapid discovery or there are impact mapping for graphical and strategic design as a part of domain-driven design practices. If you're more interested about find a more domain-driven uh, design practice, you can go to find out uh, openpracticelibrary.com. As a next step, using productive approach first. In Agile software development projects, enterprise developers are mainly focused on adapting to rapidly change application development environments such as reactive runtimes, cloud-native frameworks, Linux container packaging technology, of course, Kubernetes platform. They believe this is the best way to become an agile developer in their organization. However, this type of adaptive approach typically makes it harder for developers to understand and report what they will do in the next sprint. So developers might know the ultimate goal and at the best, the application features for at least about four months from the current screen. On the other hand, the practical approach places more emphasis on analyzing known issues and risk and planning feature of uh, screen in details. For example, productive developers can exactly report the function and task plan for the entire development process. But it's not a magical way to make your agile projects succeed all the time because the productive team depends totally on effective early stage analysis. If the analysis does not work very well, it might be difficult for the project to change direction once it gets started. In order to mitigate this risk, I strongly recommend the senior agile developer increase the productive capability with a plan-driven method, as well as a junior agile developer start with the adaptive method for value-driven development. Next step, continuously improve code quality. Please don't hesitate to engage in continuous integration like a CI practice for improving your application before you deploy code into production environment. In order to adopt modern application frameworks such as cloud-native architecture, Linux container packaging, and hybrid cloud workload, you have to run about automated tools to address complex CI procedures. For example, Jenkins is the standard CI tool for many organizations and companies. It basically allows developers to build and test the application in many projects in an automated fashion. Its most important function is detecting unexpected errors during the CI, 
to prevent them from happening in production ahead of time. This should definitely increase your business outcomes through better customer certification. So automated CI enables agile developers to not only improve the quality of their code, but they are also application development agility through learning and using open source tool and patterns such as behavior driven development, test driven development and automated unit testing and pair programming and core review, but also design pattern. The last step, please never settle even if you already have a great reputation as an agile developer. You have to continuously take on bigger challenges to make great software in an agile way. By participating in the very active and growing open source community, you will not only improve your skill as an agile developer, but your actions can also inspire other developers who want to learn agile practice. If you may have some questions such as how do you get involved in the specific communities, it depends on your interests and what you want to learn. It might mean presenting specific topic in international conferences or local meetup, or writing technical blog posts and publishing practical guidebooks, or committing code or creating pull requests for open source projects Git repository. It's worth exploring open source community for agile software development. As I've been found, it is a great way to share your expertise, knowledge, and practices with other brilliant developers as along the way help each other. So these practical four steps can give you a shorter path to becoming an awesome agile developer. Then you can lead a junior developer in your team and organization to become more flexible, valuable, and productive using agile principle. Thank you for watching today and please make sure to subscribe my channel for the next interesting video. Have a good rest of the day.